Hey YouTube, what is up? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, we are back with Laplace, and this time it's Quindom. Now I couldn't find a music video, um, so I'm debating checking out the the performance from the show. Uh, 22nd of July 2019 can that be right um no nah, it's 10 months old um yeah I can't find the find a music video for it so I guess I'll just just watch that um but before we do that uh, uh if you enjoy the video at the end uh please click like and subscribe and uh, check out my Redbubble store with the link in the description and uh, yeah, Laplace uh, quickly becoming one of my, well, probably my favorite um, um, K-pop group. I think Soyeon is still my favorite performer uh from everything i've seen of k-pop so far uh i think she's fantastic but we're not here to to talk about soyam we are here to talk about lapless so look let's look at quindom from the show Before she starts spitting bars there um i thought the beginning of the song was a little, little bit weak compared compared to to the other songs that i've heard like ratata and, and hitcha but when it got down it got down hard damn uh yeah probably well, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna stop saying things are my favorite because the the very next thing I see I I just say that's my favorite. Um. But when it got when it turned turned up, it turned up. Come on and up, I 
That was that that was incredible uh that was straight incredible but this girl here i talked about it uh, i talked about her in the gratata video as well she just gives 110 percent man the others are are awesome no doubt about it but she just gives 100 percent like you see it here just as be be dropped for real back here. Oh, I was not far enough back. Right here. Yeah. She just goes so freaking hard. I love it. Um If you've only been here for my Laplus uh, reactions, then you won't have heard me talk about this. I think I've I've said it on uh, on my on the K-pop re live reactions. I think uh, I think they're doing the the girls a disservice by having them uh, like perform to a backing track uh, I wish they would either just just stop um, how do I say this um, they should either uh, let the girls sing because I know I know it's hard uh, and tiresome to to sing uh, and dance at the same time, but it, in a um, case like this, they're they're doing one song, right? As far as I know, they're doing one song. And right, uh, OBS did not enjoy me talking shit about K-pop. Um, what I was saying was that. Um, uh, well, my OBS crashed. Um, they're doing one song in this case, um, and while while um, they are doing much more intense choreography than than say Baby Metal, um, Baby Metal does it for like one and a half hours um, so I am 100% sure that these girls are talented and dedicated enough to actually be able to perform this dance fully live but if the uh, if they're agency won't let them do that then I, I think they should just go f full full backing track no live singing because the result is um okay hang on yeah the the result is that the backing track is very far back in the mix 
so that is very very like low low volume maybe uh i'm not i'm not a musician so i'm not, i'm not fully familiar with all the all the terminology but then the girls don't they they probably lean on the backing track too much right so they don't fully sing as hard as they do in like the studio or or that they can sing and the result then is that the both the live and the backing becomes like a little bit lost in the music in the in the beats and yeah uh, this is not to take away anything from the girls because it is my opinion that these girls are much more than capable of doing this live like fully live with no backing track because they are so freaking talented and i'm i'm the kind of person who like i i gravitate towards live performances because i like hearing live voices like uh, baby metal would not even come close to being as good as they are alive if they sang with with the backing track right uh, not to mention that like stale old uh metal heads w would just would just ignore them uh, and say they are like a fake gimmick um i'm not saying that about about like the k-pop performers but i would like to see them sing live or that they just go commit to the backing track because this this like this thing they do with the in between uh, uh, it doesn't sit well with with me I, i'm sure i'm I don't have many people with me <laughs> on this, but that's my opinion. That's why I don't like watching live K-pop because because they all do it. As I have yet to see a single K-pop performance where they haven't had like fifty-fifty backing track and live vocals. Um, and I think that's sad. Because I know these girls can do it. And I'm sure they want to do it. It's just that their agencies are too scared. Um, to let them. And I think that's a disservice to the artists. I think that's... Uh, that's... Uh, disrespectful. To the artists. Because cause we have heard them sing live, right? Like, um, um, when you watch the audition things, uh, like, uh, okay, my dog all need, needs uppies again. Hang on. Yeah, um, I think I was talking about uh, the audition tapes for baby monster i think i've seen like uh clips like um it's probably originally from tiktok but i've seen them on twitter like uh audition tapes from them and they are absolutely like incredibly talented singers and I'm sure that's not uh, limited to to Baby Monster, right? That is, like, obviously not. So let let them let them sing. Is uh, my opinion. But I'm I'm gonna stop stop talking about this now because I know you guys are gonna hate it. <laughs> 
I'm just letting you know what what my opinion is. Um, all right. Thanks for watching. And if you did don't hate me after that rant, uh, then please like and subscribe and check out my Redbubble store in the description. And uh, hopefully, I will see you back here. All right. Bye.